Hey everyone, if you've ever noticed that your drone drifts slightly when hovering or that your camera doesn't seem to function as expected, then it's probably time to calibrate your drone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your drone's gimbal, IMU, compass and the remote controller, when you should calibrate each of them and also why it's important to always have them calibrated and in working order. So let's begin with the drone's gimbal. These drones have a three-axis stabilization gimbal, and if it's ever faulty, then it can cause misaligned footage. You might notice that the horizon in your videos is crooked, or that the gimbal seems to shake around for no apparent reason. If you ever see anything wrong with the gimbal, or the app tells you to calibrate it, then I highly recommend that you carry out a calibration. Now, to calibrate the gimbal, first remove the gimbal cover to free up space for the gimbal to be able to move around. Power on the drone, and connect it to the remote controller. In the DJI Fly app, or straight within the controller itself, press on Go Fly, and this will then take you to a live feed from the drone. Then press on the three dots in the top right corner to open the settings, and head on over to the Control tab. Scroll down until you see Gimbal Calibration, and press on the arrow next to it. Before you start the calibration, it's very important to make sure the drone is on a flat, level surface and not somewhere where it's moving or on uneven ground. The gimbal also needs to be completely free to be able to move. There are two options now, and the first is to have the drone automatically calibrate the gimbal by itself. If I press on the auto button, the drone will start to move the gimbal around during calibration. This process only takes around 15 seconds to complete. You can also choose to manually calibrate the gimbal, which can also be done during flight. So if you ever find that the auto calibration just isn't working, or you want to fine tune the sensors yourself, then you might want to choose this method. If you press on the manual button, the drone will open a live view of the camera along with some grid lines. Below this, you'll notice you have the option to adjust the horizontal angle as well as the yaw. Changing the horizontal value will tilt the gimbal to the left or right, and you can use the grid lines on screen to align the view with the horizon. Changing the yaw will shift the gimbal's orientation to either side. After the calibration, any errors in the gimbal's stability should now be gone. OK, so let's now move over to the drone's IMU, or Inertial Measurement Unit. The IMU monitors the drone's forces while moving, and it does this by taking readings from an accelerometer, gyroscope, thermometer and barometer. It's very important to have these sensors calibrated because if there are any errors, then the drone can shift during hovering or it might experience sudden drops in altitude during flight. There's no need to calibrate the IMU before each flight, but if you notice any erratic behavior during flight, calibrating the IMU should probably be the first thing you do. To calibrate the IMU, in the settings within the safety tab, scroll down until you see IMU normal and press on the calibrate button. The diagram of the drone on the left-hand side of the screen will show you the position that the drone needs to be placed in when calibrating. One thing to note is that DJI recommends to calibrate the IMU when the drone is cooled down. This is because if you calibrate when the drone is quite warmed up, the thermometer will calibrate to the surrounding temperature. For example, if you calibrate the IMU at room temperature, every time the drone is powered on, it needs to warm up to room temperature. This can cause the drone to need a longer time when starting up. So, let's press start and take a look how it works. For each step, place the drone as shown on screen and wait for the system to tell you to change the position of the drone. There are five positions in total, and after you've gone through each position, the drone will restart and tell you if the calibration was successful or not. After successful calibration, the drone stability should improve. Now let's move over to calibrating the drone's compass, which is the easiest one of them all. The compass is in charge of keeping track of the drone's orientation in relation to the Earth's magnetic field. If the compass isn't functioning as expected, the drone's precision could decrease during flight, or when doing a return to home, the drone could end up landing much further away from the home point than expected. DJI recommends calibrating the compass if you're flying at a location further than 50 kilometers away from where the drone was last flown, or if you haven't flown the drone for 30 days. However, in my experience, there was no issue even when flying at about 1,000 kilometers eastwards and 500 kilometers to the north from my last flight point. 
To calibrate the compass, once again in the safety tab, scroll down until you see compass normal and press on the calibrate button. Before you press start, make sure the drone is far away from any magnetized objects such as your car or metal fences. Also, it's recommended to keep the drone 1.5 meters above the ground when calibrating. This is because sometimes even the soil in the ground can be slightly magnetic, which could slightly disrupt the calibration. Once you're ready, press the start button and the system will tell you to first turn the drone 360 degrees horizontally. Once you've done this, the system will automatically move on to the next step and now tell you to turn the drone 360 degrees vertically. If you've done this successfully, the drone should then display a calibration successful message and the drone's orientation should be more accurate. The last calibration is of the remote controller, which is just as important for a smooth drone flight as the other calibrations. If you ever feel that the drone's movements just aren't responsive enough from the stick inputs, a calibration of the RC might be required. Another reason to calibrate the RC is to center the control sticks. You see, over time, the control sticks might slightly shift from their original central point. If this happens, the controller could actually interpret this slight shift as an input for the drone to drift. If this is the case, you might notice that the drone is very slightly moving while hovering. To calibrate the RC, make sure both control sticks are screwed in properly and then head on over to the control tab in the settings. Near to the bottom of the tab, you'll see the option to calibrate the RC. Press on the arrow next to it and then press on the start button. The system will then prompt you to move the control sticks to the maximum in all four directions. Do this a few times for both control sticks and then turn the dial at the back of the controller to each side, once again to the maximum. If everything went as expected, you'll then get a message telling you that the calibration was successful. So there we have it. That's how to calibrate your drone's gimbal, IMU, compass and the remote controller. Of course, it's not necessary to calibrate every single time you fly, however, it is important to make sure the sensors are kept in good condition. If the drone's behavior ever seems to change, the first thing to do is calibrate. If this video was helpful for you, then please let me know by clicking the like button and subscribing down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Well, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.